wait a second, is um, how to determine the length of a body part that is not directly horizontal or showing um, uh, 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 I don't know uh, this body is pointing straight away from you if you're looking from in front and it's pointing straight in that direction so but if you see the horns here right it has a an angle it has this angle Facebook game room here visit me on Facebook I'm there too but I'm on YouTube as well as you already have noticed okay so first of all we need to know the angle this is why math is so important as you can see here 13.1 degree this is the angle uh, which this show, um, shows to us I don't know if this is the correct one well, maybe if I show it because um, no it's always hmm. okay doesn't matter Let me see if I can if I can um, explain this. So this horn has this thirteen point three degrees. Um, everything has a circle. Um, in which this object can rotate it has a, a what's it called an origin point right so you have mm, you have the horn this is the horn from the sides and from here you have this circle going on right This is the radius of the circle. Come on, go away. No, not. All right. Let's see here. I need uh, my 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 concentric ellipse. Did I delete it or what? All right. Let's see here. Um and need a you you need a circle. I don't know how but somehow this is a circle. So you're drawing a qu one quarter circle and then just leave. So, this horn points one uh, points ninety degrees away from us. If it would point zero degree away from us, means that it would point directly to us or away from us, um, which means that you have no length at all, right? If if this is pointing away or in front of you. Uh, uh, a pencil, for example, if you if you if the pencil points directly to it, towards you, then it has no length. If it uh, if you turn this ninety degrees, uh, it it has its full length. And this fact is the one we can work with. So, if ha if it has um, zero length.
is zero degree is zero percent if you want to have it one length then it means it has 90 degrees which means it has 100 percent so now you divide 100 towards 90 or 10 to 9 is 1.11 and this is the value you need to use um, in order to know the percentage of rotation of this of these horns right now so uh, it showed us 13.3 percent but it is 13.3 percent uh, subtracted from the from the 13.3 degrees subtracted from the 90 degrees so we need to have 76.7 90 minus 13.3 is 76.7 degrees and you are just We Germans we use commas, and uh, um, just use my calculator. That would be like that. So eighty-five point one four of this. All right. It's uh, tilted, but if you just make this, it's the same. Um, we just want to know the uh, want to know um, the length of the horns. And if you are using these eighty-five percent, it's kind of like here. Then you know. its length. If you know the length of an object then you will automatically know in the three dimensional space your midpoint then you have here your horn. If it is here you have here your horn. That's the easiest thing to find out how long an object is in three dimensional space. If it has um, that's why the head related sizes. If it has the size of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, like uh, his wings, his wing has, his wing finger has the size of 15, right? Then you need to draw a line that is 15 long, of course this is not a 15 line, and then you are going to use your um, I don't know what's the what's the term for this circle maker circulator <laughs> well where you're making this um, circle and then you uh, ask yourself in which direction does it uh, point up, down, left, right. I imagine it points upwards like this. Right? Me? This is cool. Like this, okay? Wait a second. This is the uh, the maximum space of the object that it can can be if it is just pointing directly upwards or directly to the right. But let's say you have a, uh, a, pers uh, a three quarter perspective so that the character is standing 45 degrees um, to its um, standard precision. Then you have, you know, 45 degrees is the half of 90 degrees, which means 50% of this line is here, guessed. So you are making this. You're making this uh, this 
bow or arch or how you call it and then you uh, imagine and then you see you have point out that it is pointing here and this is the point how long it is this is the point how long it is if you say you it, it is here up up here then you go down there then have you this crossing and that may tells you where its end is I tried to calculate this and I couldn't figure it out so I gave up and I came up with this simpler more intuitive method and it's exhausting so and so this is how you are creating the, uh, the legs perspective uh, see the legs are like this then you can make them more like this you see the, they're shorter but what I want you to show the last thing for now the rest and everything in action I will show you in my next tutorial when I'm actually using my data to create a, transform a currently transforming dragoon that's what Ryan is by the way he's a dragoon uh, that can switch between dragons and humans they are always doing this when they are angry like Hulk so <laughs> and then they are just <laughs> alright off with you now um, you see this is called cuboid because we are making a cuboid now and we are working with perspective this is a easy tutorial how to make that so just let me make first a horizontal line this is where your eyes are then I don't know if Photoshop does have this vanishing points two of them just leave them there that's good they're almost height where they have to be okay so this is fun now again again with that and I'm hmm I'm going to draw the lines here and now I'm using my assistant for vanishing pointing it's cheating I don't care <laughs> What's going on here? This is just a rough... To show you how to make an... Elliptic object. Kind of... I turned it off, that's not good. So it be this and this echo. So this is the off. All right. What I um, what I have done right now is just the base, the basic form. When you are when you want to draw a character in three-dimensional space, you start with this. 
only with this. This is the thing that you want to draw. If you have the data, you take the data. For example, this 3.33 of the chest size. This is the this is the chest of of him. Pretty wide. <laughs> well, let's try it out, shall we? Now, if you have this box, we need to determine the um, damn. Wait a second. This is not quite right. You stupid program. <laughs> Do what I say. Do what I want. So, how do we um, define the midpoint? Just make an X, and this is your midpoint. Easy. And then you're just making... Damn. And there you have your middle. The next thing, just do the same thing for that part, upwards, downwards, and vanishing points. You see, mm, it's a little bit inaccurate, but this will suffice. So, and for the sake of um, viewability, uh, view, um, visibility, I will delete the unnecessary um, components. Because we don't need those. Do we? <laughs> well, I guess we did need that. Damn, this is confusing. <sighs> Thank God that you don't need to do this anymore if you have... Um, need to know... Wait a second. Yeah, go on. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is <a> stupid. <laughs> Shoot. Dang. And now determine which ones can be deleted. Whoa. Okay, wait a second. Dang. This is wrong, this is wrong. <laughs> but this is how you... Eh, what's this? <laughs> Is this a line which I need? Concentrating... Wait, this is this... Okay. Let's make this a little bit brighter. So, all right. The, f uh, the important thing is that we have these th uh, three rectangles. These are needed in order to uh, determine. Uh, we need those to determine the form of our elliptic circle and we, m we just draw our circle in here.
wait down here then this I know it's, it's a little bit inaccurate but you will see then you just using that all right the the circles from the back are needed. And then this circle. Actually, actually, you um, need to make this um, this this cross as well, right? So this, I mean. Sometimes the problem doesn't. This cross. This is. These are those three lengths. And how do we do? How we find out how long they are? This is what I will be covering in the next tutorial. This is a little bit of um, calculating. So, and if we have this ugly <laughs> thing, then we need our circle again. Where it is, where is it? Go away. Cedric ellipse. Doot, doot, doot. Put it there. Actually, you don't. Or do you? And we just. No, wait a second. That wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't correct. Um. Wait. And first of all. It's Put it in there. This is going to be here. A little bit more like this. See this this line here goes outside. Hmm. Presentation effect. Nothing works as you as you planned it. Well, and you have then this like that, and this like that, and so on. This is how you determine the size of your ellipse, and then you can add your head. Quick and dirty. So, so may think, why is my dragon always smiling? Why is he so cute? Because I don't like it when dragons are monsters. Here's a more 
long, long and bro and wide body. Man, that looks so stupid. And then this, uh, I know, and this is the shoulder thing. There is the arm. You have got the lower arm. That's the hand. And then you have now perspective comes into play. Then you go here. Actually, this is a little bit too. Um, this and this is a little bit smaller. Right, and then you have a tail like that. And the wing is going like this. Come on. Drawing dirty. I can't. Uh, I can't recognize anything. <laughs> and so on. Like that, kind of. Um, at least you get the point where I'm pointing at. <laughs> so, and thank God I did it. <laughs> My first tutorial and went sm uh, sm more smooth than I have imagined. Would be a shame if there would be a word that to uh, to come up. I don't know. All right. I will stop here and I will continue with the tutorial that takes these and I will be taking any value from here and I will be making, I don't know, him standing on two legs and showing how this with these um, cuboids works. I hope this tutorial isn't too long. I hope it helps. I'm just a a poor a poor boy living in Germany, doing so all sorts of crazy stuff like drawing, painting, animating going to the gym and playing RPGs, watching watching YouTube and playing all kinds of games. <laughs> you must be crazy to do something like that. So, just a quick review. Study anatomy. Make the forms easy. Know where the muscles are and learn the similarities from the anim any human body. If it is a fantasy animal, just use real world references. Then create a model sheet with these three perspectives and with these easy simple forms. and write down those um, informations and you may have uh, a lot of data but you can draw everything all the time but if you don't want to draw then you can use these model sheets and create a 3D character in Blender which is getting better every time This is Sven Reynold. I hate my name. 
My artist name is AT Dynex, and this is me with what I will, with what I am signing up. My drawings and paintings. AT Dynex. This was drawn three days ago, <laughs> and well, hope you see you. In Hope you see you in the next tutorial. I don't even see you. I can't see you. And you can't see me. Bye. Oh, by the way. I am on Patreon. So. Best fiends again. <laughs> if you uh, want to support me financially. Then you can give me one dollar or three or five or whatever whatever you feel like and that would if it comes to an um, amount where I can live from I can do these things a lot rela lot more uh, in a relaxed manner and I don't have this pressure right and right now I'm waiting for, uh, for my apprenticeship to start that will be starting in August 22nd so I, wo I won't be able to work a lot in that case but if I'm I don't know earning two thousand dollars a month or, m or <laughs> I never earned so much money I had it very uh, hard in my life then I will I could make this and I could even make a a manga which I am planning to do and I can I can make everything I can make m more transformations like you see my snake my saw and my where dog transformations I want to make my dragon dragoon transformation and I don't know which ones and really I have put a lot of time into this so damn you see how much information is in there is and this information is definite I hope I I can make myself clear well then I don't want to trouble you anymore see you in the next tutorial bye